Hey, what's up guys? So check it out. We travel all across America and there is a massive blue collar shortage. We call this a worker deficit and we take intel from all these different places. And according to our calculations with all these different groups that we work with, we're talking a worker, blue collar worker deficit of 1.5 million people just for the year of 2022. To make matters worse, all the baby boomers are retiring in 2023. So in this video, we're gonna cover the top five trades of blue collar profession that you need to know about. All right, so to just get right into it, number five, HVAC technicians. These are people that keep your house hot and cold. Summertime, everybody wants air conditioning. Wintertime, everybody wants heat. So HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, these are really, really big in the south you know, where there's a ton of hot, really hot summers in the Northeast where the humidity is really high. You know, it's a really technical job because you got to know about fan speeds and pressures and duct work and there's some pumping. You know, these people are responsible for refrigeration. Everybody likes to be able to pull a soda pop out of the fridge and it be cold. HVAC technicians, they're the folks that make it happen. According to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, these guys, they're making $80,000 a year. That's number five. Getting right into it, number four, construction equipment operator. To be a construction equipment operator, it's like Tonka trucks for grown-ups. You get on that bulldozer, it's got a big old powerful motor, you get to push dirt all day. But what a lot of people don't realize is that all the overpasses and the bridges and the tunnels, these people are totally responsible for all our highway transportation system. They dig ditches and put sewer lines in. Really highly skilled people. A couple of downfalls to this trade is moving around on that heavy equipment can be a little bit hard on your body, so it's definitely not for the faint of heart. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, these folks are making an average, now just think about that, an average of $85,000 a year so this is a high growth field because there's a lot of people that are needed you know anytime we upgrade our transportation system boom gotta have equipment operators all right number three on my list that's electrician these are highly skilled individuals they got to put conduit up they got to bend that conduit piping they need to know a ton of math all them voltage calculations making sure that you get the proper amount of electricity to the proper places and there's demand issues where if we don't provide enough volume of electricity you know when you plug in your hair dryer just not gonna work okay the electrical system in your house and your business and your school it's the system that you are going to interact with the most as a human being the electrical system where is the light switch when you turn it on is the light shine in the right areas is it too bright is it too dim so electricians super talented people they can work anywhere because electrical systems everybody needs them and everybody interacts with them a little bit so according to Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average is $100,000 a year. That's pretty impressive. Electrician, my hat's off to you. It's a great trade. Number two on my list is plumber. This is one of the oldest professions. Congregation of cities, everybody's living closer and closer. You gotta have plumbers to bring in fresh, clean drinking water and carry the waste out. So this trade, super critical to humanity. Literally the health of our nation rests solely on their shoulders. That's why plumbers are number two. According to Bureau of Labor and Statistics, these are also a hundred plus thousand dollar a year job. Highly skilled, they handle all kinds of pipe, especially like in the hospitals, medical grade gas that comes out of the wall when you're in surgery and they need to boost you a little oxygen or they need to use a little nitrogen in that medical procedure. Guess who brings that to you? Plumbers do, okay? Highly skilled individuals, that's definitely number two on my list. I'm a welder right here in my heart. So I saved the best for last. Number one trade in America right now is welders. All right, so according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics for welders, they claim that a welder makes a hundred plus thousand dollars a year. Me, right here, I'm telling you that's categorically false because my best year ever, working in the field by the hour, I made $352,000. And look at me, I'm not anything special. If I can do it, you definitely can do it. All right, so welders, really, really high paid job. These are really, really critical people to the overall health and security and wealth of our nation. And if I can be a welder, you definitely can. All right, so welders, why are they so important? Every year, the American Welding Society comes out with stats and shows what the welder deficit is in this nation. And every year, it's like bumping on a half a million people. We're a half a million people short. Literally, America could be so much better if we had more welders. How do you be a really, really good welder? You gotta be skilled. And where do you learn the best skills ever? 
obviously here at Western Welding Academy. Do not sacrifice your future. If you're gonna be a welder, why settle for second and third and fourth best? You wanna kick off and be number one. Absolutely, be number one. Go to Western Welding Academy, apply to weld.com. So if you like this video, make sure you drop me a thumbs up, drop me a comment. If you got any trades out there that you think I should have covered and that I missed, put it in the comment section. I always look forward to the dialogue down there. Make sure you share this video, hit that red subscribe button, and I will see you guys on the next one.